All right, welcome back to the channel, everybody. And the worst fear of every content creator happened. I thought I would be, you know, very um, efficient and record two episodes back to back, which would have been episodes three and four. And uh, yeah, I made a little bit of a mistake. There was a setting off on my uh, audio. Uh, we kind of had a power surge through the uh, neighborhood. Computer reset. I didn't even think about checking that. And uh, after I recorded everything, I went to throw it in my editor, and I had zero sound. I had my mic, but zero sound in the game. I kind of put a poll out there, and a few of you said, you know what, let's just recap it, move on, and that is what we're going to do. So, some of the things that we did in what would have been three and four. Let's see. Uh, we built our first farm plot. All right, so now we have plowed or uh, grubbed that whole field. We took out a deer with our bare hands again. All right, I guess we're beating them up. Well, that wasn't pretty, but it got the job done. We built uh, some leather pouches and some stone knives to sell for some money. Uh, we finished out the uh, Help Thy Neighbor quest. Uh, we talked to Debbie down in Gustovia about the rye. Unfortunately, we won't be able to provide the rye uh, this time. The crops are all diseased and pretty much unusable. As if I don't have enough problems already. But don't worry, I ordered a delivery of rye from Rolnica. It should be here yesterday, actually. Don't know what happened. Nadar usually is very prompt. Maybe you could go see him and check if everything is alright. Uh, that's what I'm going to do then. Take care. Uh, we talked to Unighost, and after that we were sent to go meet somebody named Sambor. All right, so that was a lengthy story. I uh, just kind of skipped over that. Basically, by the end of it, uh, I talked about a few things, and we got to collect some clay for him. Uh, so we got to dig up clay deposits. Uh, we went back to Unigost after that to deliver him a knuckle sandwich, a theater genius trapped in the body of a bear wrestler. He actually asked me to give you something. Really, and what is that? Knuckle sandwich. We also found out that Sambor was an evil torturer. Uh, we met a new love interest when we were in Gustovia. Her name is Sabora. Uh, she's a little bit on the kinky side. I think I like this one. What do you do in your spare time? Since drinking is not a hobby, I would have to go with fooling around in every meaning of it, wink. Uh, we built our first community house. We also built a well, a workshop, some food storage, a wood extraction shed, and a hunting lodge. Uh, we then went back to Gustovia. We moved in our love interest into the neighborhood, and we made it into the summer season. And that is where we are left at now. We just hit summer, and we got a few things that I would like to get accomplished in this episode. And don't worry, I double-checked. I have the sounds are recording. I can see it on my little uh, meter over there. Uh, so, we moved in Sabora, and let's go meet her, uh, and she might actually be hanging out, possibly in her house. Let's see. Nope, oh, she's not here, so she's probably out working. And we sent her to work in the hunting lodge. Uh, that was so we could get a bunch of meat, we could get some things uh, cooking, and that'll help supply our food. Which, let's take a look, we have... So we've got 15 meat in there, we've got some roasted meat, we got our dried meat, we got some berries of course, the rot, and some water skin. Water skin is what we need for her to be able to have water. But we're going to need some people for the wood shed to be able to, uh, sorry, for the wood extraction shed so we can get some wood and some planks. Then with that we can make some buckets here in the wood shed, or in the uh, uh, wood shop. And with those buckets we can fill in the well, which is over here. And with the buckets of water, we can put into the food storage, and that will supply water for our community. And then we have our hunting lodge down over here that we kind of snuck back into the corner, kind of butted right up next to the woods. And I see a Sambora in here. Uh, oh, goodness, she kind of freaked me out. So there is Sambora. Let's Hello. see. We can romance this morning. So we're sitting at 50% affection. Her mood is at 6%, and her age is 21. Alright. Goodbye. Goodbye. 
Alright, so we need to go find some people. Um, but first, we actually need to build another house. So if we could build a house, then we can get two people. One person for the uh, woodshed. And probably one for the wood shop. Um, otherwise, we could throw a second one into our hunting or into the wood extraction. Just so we can get some more resources. And then once we have those two here, uh, we can actually kind of continue to stockpile resources while we're out trying to finish off some of these other storylines that we got to do. So what I'm thinking of doing is putting a house right next to this one. And then we can start building our little settlement right through here. So let's see. We want... Oh, and we also unlocked a simple house, which is a little bit of a bigger house. Uh, but we're going to do the small house for now. A little less resources, a little smaller. I don't expect this to be too big of a place, um, but a decent size. Let's see. Let's go... I think we're going to have to go about right here. Yeah, there we go. All right, so we need some stone and... What logs and sticks and all that. So I'll bring it back as soon as we get this house built up. All right, it is the next day. I got the house completed. Uh, it takes it takes forever. I forgot I didn't have any zero or I had zero resources. I had to go collect a bunch of log sticks, um, all that fun stuff. But we got the house, and so now we can go get a couple more individuals to move in. Uh, which will be good, because that will fulfill our wood extraction. And I just got um, level up while we were doing that stuff. So now we can actually also build... Where's extraction? There we go. We can also build the uh, excavation shed. So this would be good for the stones, rocks, limestone, all of that fun stuff. And a herbalist hut. Um, it'll be a while before we do the herbalist hut, I think. For right now, we just got to get the basics. So... First, let's start by going and getting a couple folks. Um, I don't know where to start. I mean, normally always go to Hornica. We'll probably go to Jezrika. But being it is also the next morning, we've got to go say good morning to our new love interest. Where is she going? Hey, come here, Sabara. How are you? Good, how are you? Okay, that one's pretty good. So we're up to 68%. So we have to get this to 100 before we can ask her to marry us. So, that is fine. That's a great start to the day. Let's head over to... Yeah, let's head over to Jezrika. Let's go see what we have over there. All right, we made it to Jezrika. Uh, do we have... Well, we got a couple people down here. Let's see, what do we got? All right, so one in extraction, a one... Ooh, a three! For Jakurt. Oh, he's really good, actually. Hey, Jakurt, would you like to join us? Uh, let's see. Great, he'll see us there. So let's get him into a house and a job. So we want to put him in the empty house. Yep, throw him there. And let's get him going on the... Let's get him going on the woodshed. Uh, empty slot. Uh... Yes. All right. Now, I just realized I don't think we have a tool in there for him. Let's see. If we go to extraction, woodshed, let's give him some assignments. Uh, we might have an axe in there. It looks like we might have an axe. So we have to have, like, tools in our resource uh, shed. Uh, that will allow him to be able to actually work on what he needs to work on. And let's get a few planks probably going. We're not going to need too many. Honestly, I'd rather build up the wood. And, you know, just a little bit of firewood. Why not? We could always use... Let's bump that down. We could use some sticks, too. And... There we go. About one firewood a day. That's not bad. That is a good start for, for us on that one. All right, so we've got one guy. Perfect. And, oh wait, it does say, so no resources. Oh yes, that is because 
we haven't got any logs in for him to actually make any planks. So as soon as he gets his first log, that should go away. And a one on extraction. One on extraction. All right, let's head over to... Well, do we want to run past our place and run back to Hornica? Or should we check out Lenica or Lesnica? Let's go check out Lesnica, shall we? Let's see what's there. It's not too far away. It's probably about the same distance that it would have taken. Yeah, that'll be a fun run. All right. I'll see y'all in Lesnica and see if we can find ourselves a wife for our new guy that we just got. All right, we made it to Lesnica. Let's hope that we can find... Ah... Uh, no, we don't have a potential wife for him, but we do have we do have a good diplomat and farmer. That'll be good to know. All right, dang it! That means we're gonna have to run to Seneca. Let's uh let's quickly run over there. All right, we made it to Seneca. Let's see what we have in here. Hopefully somebody maybe has some food. A little tavern. I see some wheat stuff. We might. Hello. Oh, perfect. I wanna. I definitely want to have you join our settlement. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Perfect. Look at that. Three, 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 two, three, one. That is an amazing, amazing person. All right, we'll send her to there and get her on. All right, woodshed is full. You know, let's, uh, for now, let's just have her hang out with uh, Sabora as a hunter, which accidentally took Sabora off. Uh, empty slot, there we go. Enter. Perfect. All right, let's see, because Savora is good, good there. How's her production? Actually, Savora is really good on production. Good to know. All right, that's fine. So we now have our three people. Let's see if we can find some type of food or something around here. Uh, that is, I think somebody that does sewing. Ah, here you are. stranger. Would like to My see your wares. wares. Never disappoint. No, they do not. Let's get. Uh, do we have some roasted meat. I don't spend too much on anything. Let's buy. Let's buy just one of these. This should hold us over until Goodbye. we can get back to our settlement. Uh, where's our food? There it is. There we go. That gave us just a little bit of food. We can head back, and now that we have some resources going, by the time we get back, we should be able to have some meat, uh, some wood, hopefully stockpiled up, and we can start working on our little, uh, a little settlement over there. Where are we going? Okay, we're going this way, about a thousand meters. All right, time to run again. I will see you guys there in just a minute. I think I'll probably grab some sticks and stones. We'll craft up. Uh, some knives and pickaxes, uh, anything else that we might need for our individuals to be able to do their jobs. So I'll see you guys again here in just a minute. All right, we made it back. Didn't take too long. Let's take a look and see what we got for our resources. Uh, first things first, we need to get, we need to get some food cooking. And uh, then we got to drop off a bunch of stuff as well. We are heavy. So let's uh, drop off. I think we have a bunch of stone. Yeah, let's drop off some copper ore, clay. Uh, why not? Uh, we can drop off the iron pick. Um, we can drop off this extra torch. These couple sticks, some stones. These stone axes, these stone knives, stone pick. Yep, yep. And, you know, let's keep this torch on us. I want to replace it. A wooden bowl we can store in there as well. 
and this wooden shovel and that all right so that lightened us up a little bit let's go head over to uh, one of the houses over here we'll just borrow somebody's uh, we do need to re put this on as our torch perfect because we need the torch in order to light this and then we could craft a bunch of this meat up which will be good and then we could put that back into our food storage uh, which will help feed our new inhabitants of the community perfect okay let's get this dropped off and put this in our food storage we'll probably keep a little bit for ourselves uh, we are starting to get a little hungry so let's let's eat a few uh, we'll just have let's have like that much there we go that sounds about right and then we can take the rest maybe we'll leave ourselves four we did get a little poison there because we ate while we were just absolutely filthy so we uh contaminated ourselves with our own filth Let's go down. Let's go take a bath real quick. And then we can get some water while we're down here, too. There we go. Nice and clean. We're clean. We're full of water. We got a pretty full belly. That is a great start. All right, let's go take a peek and see if we have anything getting collected for uh, resources. Because if we got some planks or some logs, we can start making some buckets. Let's take a peek. Uh, we've got, look at that, 16 log already. We've got eight planks. We'll take those planks. We've got some sticks going. Uh, and that's a pretty good amount for now. All right, let's take those planks and see if we can make a few buckets. And then we can take those buckets, fill it up with water. And that will ensure that our community survives. All right, so bucket, bucket, bucket. All right, we gotta buy the bucket. We should have money for it. Perfect. We can make four buckets, which is great because if I remember each bucket holds like four, let's say like like four gallons of water or something. Um, it's a decent amount. So now that we have the four buckets, let's head up over here. We can fill those buckets with water. And we want to craft a bucket of water. Got four of those. Perfect. And now we can take that bucket of water, throw it here into our food shed. Oh yeah, 10 of 10. So that gives us like, what's that? A lot of water. Um, if we go into management, so water, we have 1,054 with only a demand of 72. So if we don't add any more water, we're good for like 11 days. Uh, that is absolutely fantastic. I forgot to see what our food is at. 72 with 453. Our wood, 338 with a 72. Awesome. That is a great, absolute great start. All right, let's take some of these logs because we got a decent amount of them. Let's turn a few of these into some firewood. We'll hit a radial. We'll go to handcraft. We'll go to logs. Or sorry, into firewood. Form up some firewood. And then we could take that firewood, put it back in here. And that would be a great start to our little community, I think. Let's take a peek. Firewood. See, that's 36 wood. So now we have 39 in there. I do want to take some of these logs. I'll take all of it. Let's just take like seven of them. So the wood, 369, that's even after we took out those logs. That is fantastic. And that's because we need to start a, a ex... I don't know why I can't say that word. A excavation shed. Uh, one for them to be able to collect rock and stone and all of that fun stuff. And if I had to pick a spot... You know, I think I'd put the spot back over here. You know, to be honest. If we, you know, brought a road, maybe snuck it back over here. 
have a cool little spot, like maybe like right here. It's against this rock face. This kind of seems like a, a good area for one. Let's see, we'll go into extraction, excavation shed, and we can get it going. Let's get it going right there. All right, so we got a hammer. What are we gonna need? We need eight stone. All right, you guys know the deal. I'm gonna find us a bunch of stone. Oh, there's a wooden spear over here. What the heck is that? That's interesting. Is it in here? Oh, apparently I built that over a uh, wooden spear. Well, that spear will never be uh, picked up again. All right, I'm gonna grab some stone. We're going to get this thing built. I'll see you guys right after that. This should be the last tree. Ooh, that almost kicked, kicked back and took me out. Already had that happen once. If you guys notice, like, my uh, health is kind of down. Um, at the beginning of the episode when I was trying to cut down a log for the, uh... Oh, God, I think it was the first house. I ended up cutting a tree that bounced back and uh, knocked me out. Almost killed me. Perfect. Look at that. So now we have the excavation shed. And what I'd like to do is go into management. Let's get, um, let's get Awana out of the hunting lodge and into the excavation shed as a miner. And then we can go into the management of the excavation shed. And we want to have, let's just bump up the stone for sure. So the stone will take like the most, well, let's start with like, I don't know, 60% for now. Um, some straw is always good to have. Throw some limestone, why not? That's good for insulation in the later months. Uh, clay will be helpful. Let's bump up. You know, let's just put it all back into stone. So this gets us a little bit of everything going. So with stone creating, with wood, or sorry, with stone getting gathered, wood getting gathered, meat getting gathered, that is all of our basics. And with that, that will allow us to be able to start producing things. Uh, we can start making the knives that we need. Uh, maybe we eventually will get somebody to manage the woodshed, start making some of this stuff automatic. But for now, we can do a lot of this all automatically ourselves, just build what we need, and uh, that way we can, we can be successful. So let's see, do we have any more planks? Oh, we got two more planks, and we got a couple more logs. Ooh, we do have some decent leather. So if we take the leather, leather's always nice to have. Because what we can do is go into handcrafting and build some of these simple bags. 
And the simple bags are really good for kind of quick cash. Um, I'd say probably about the same as like the stone knives. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's a good use of the leather in the beginning. Let's see, we could also take some sticks. We could take like half of our sticks, let's say. And let's take, uh, let's take a few of the stones. We could do the same thing. We can create some stone knives. We can create seven of those. And then we could take some of this into the town, sell it, make a few bucks, and uh, that will kind of be a real quick source of income for us. All right, let's, uh, for the time being, let's store this stuff until we are ready to make that travel. Oh, I'm hitting, hitting buttons I didn't mean to do. Yeah, we don't need those. Oh, we got a bag at some point. Oh, that's cool. We'll transfer the bag over. Uh, stone arrows we don't need on us. Stone knives we don't need on us. Except for the one that we keep. And the leather, let's just give that one back. Alright. Well, I think that was a great start. This was a pretty good episode. We got a lot accomplished. Uh, hopefully you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you comment, like, and uh, subscribe. It greatly, greatly helps the uh, channel out and the growth and how the algorithm works. Uh, again, thank you everybody for all of your time. And uh, as always, make sure you keep it simple, all right? I'll see you on the next one. Take it easy. Bye. All right, let's head to bed.